Virtue enables you to know the good, do the good, and pursue the good in everything you think, say, and do. Your every thought, word, and action. Doing the good and right thing one time is not a virtue, but rather a good deed. Virtue then is a habitual disposition to do the good and right thing, God's will, every time, without exception. Simply put, virtues are good habits in the concrete. Vices then are bad habits in the concrete. Avoiding the good or doing what's contrary to God's will one time is a bad deed. Avoiding the good or doing what's contrary to God's will consistently is a bad habit and therefore a vice. An old Rwandan proverb says, you can outdistance that which is running after you, but not what is running inside you. Meaning you can't hide from the truth of who your habitual acts are shaping you to be a soul being formed by virtue or a soul being formed by vice. To seek the will of God in all you do is the way of virtue. To seek the will of self is the way of vice. Thus, virtue pulls you toward God's purpose for your life, fulfillment. Vice pulls you away from God's purpose for your life, emptiness. Consider the virtues the characteristics of Christ, which direct your every thought, word, and action to be in harmony with God's will. There are many virtues and vices to learn, and to strengthen your intellect in them is to light the way to be who God wills you to be.